Welcome to the Black Belt Update for the week of November 9th, 2022. By now you have recovered from your pretest and you've had those learning moments where you thought you would do better, but you did what you could do at the moment. It's a great chance for you to evaluate and today we're gonna to be talking about that process of evaluation, assessment, and then planning for the future tests that you have to do. Over the next six months, we'll be preparing for your Black Belt adventure and our Black Belt Academy method will help you succeed. You will make the grade and you will make the goal, but you're going to have to apply yourself and listen carefully to the instructions that are included in this video and update. Every week I'll be providing you with an update so that you'll have an opportunity to grow and expand your knowledge base, but more importantly, build the confidence necessary to become a black belt. Here is your peak performance self-assessment process. First, open your notebook, reflect, write, and analyze. Then list your strengths, list your weaknesses, and then finally, list your best techniques and list your worst techniques. So now it's time to get started. The first step is to open up your notebook, reflect, write, and analyze all the various aspects of your performance. What did you do well? What did you do less well? Ask someone else what you did well, what you did less well. And think about it, write down those notes because that's going to formulate what you do as you move forward in your training. The next step is to list your strengths. What did you do well? And why did you do it well? And how are you going to keep and maintain those strengths as you move forward in your training? Now it's time to list what you did less well. What did you do less well? And what were your weaknesses in your training? What could you improve upon? For example, maybe your forms weren't as sharp as they should be. Maybe your kicking wasn't as sharp as it could be. This is an important step in realizing what you need to work on so you can set your goals accordingly. Now list your best techniques. What is it that you do well? What techniques are you confident in? What techniques do you think that you have currently under your belt and you can pull out exactly when you need them? And then you need to list your worst techniques whether they be in punse, sparring, or weapons, list the things that you need to work on because they're just not ready yet. And this is how you're going to build your excellence and this is how you're going to get prepared to test at the next pretest. List your worst techniques and develop a plan on how you're going to improve them. And finally, meet with your instructor. Together, you and your instructor will develop a plan for success you will develop a schedule that you will use as you move forward to the next pretest. This will help you prepare and teach you how to set a goal, more importantly, how to schedule for success. It is only by planning for success that you can achieve success. So you're going to use this list, this self-analysis, and build a plan day by day, week by week, month by month, so that you can improve the techniques that need to be improved and you can still maintain the techniques that you currently have that you feel confident in. Together, we are going to become peak performance champions and peak performance black belts. We represent a community of excellence and together we will find that place where we can excel. Now it's important to remember, the only thing standing between you and your dream of becoming a black belt is you. If you apply yourself, you'll be able to achieve that dream, make your parents proud, and your family, your colleagues at Gold Medal, but more importantly, our community. Together, we are going to achieve this goal. I want you to stay strong, do your preparation, and see me weekly for any questions you might have. Congratulations on the first step of your journey.